So today, as requested by many of you, gumawa tayo ng another no-bake dessert. Kasi ba diba, paano naman po kaming mga walang oven? Paano naman po kaming gusto namin mabilisan yung aming dessert pero masarap at special? This is Easy Peach Mango Float or you can also call it Ice box cake. Bakit po tinawag na ice box cake? You will see later. Dahil para itong ice cream cake pagka gawa mo. O di ba bongga? Pero napakabilis gawin. So first, we start with a cream filling. I have here one cup of cream cheese, room temperature. Make sure that the cream cheese is at room temperature. And then into this, I'm going to put one can of condensed milk. Pagsamahin mo lang sila, ganito lang po ito kabilis. Actually, ba diba, this is one of, bukod sa fruit salad, isa sa mga paborito nating gawin tuwing kapaskuhan. Ngayong araw, this is, tung classic na to, papabonggahin lang natin ng konti. O, ba diba? So, you put one can of condensed milk and using a mixer, just beat it first, the cream cheese and the condensed Hanggang magsama lang ng konti. Okay, so just beat it like that. And then turn off the mixer. And then you put 2 cups of chilled all-purpose cream. Sasagutin ko na yung tanong ng marami sa inyo, Chef. Ako po ay taga Europe. Wala pong all-purpose cream. Totoo naman yun because all-purpose cream is created for the Filipino market. Kung ikaw ay taga Europe, taga US, taga Australia, you can use thickened cream or heavy cream or whipping cream. Okay, pwede yun. Just make sure na chilled. So, you put 2 cups of cream. This is all-purpose cream. I'm using chilled all-purpose cream. Okay. And then, just keep on beating it. So, ayan, binibit ko siya. Look. Napakabilis po nitong gawin. Until maging medyo fluffy. O ngayon, bumalik tayo dun sa mga usual na tanong. Eh nako, chef, sa subdivision po namin, kami magkakapitbahay, pare-pareho po kaming nanonood ng videos nyo. So, would that mean na pagdating ng kapaskuhan, pare-parehong peach mango float ang ititinda namin o mag -e exchange gift kami, pare-parehong peach mango float? So, this is what you can do. You can do, o pwedeng yung sa'yo is, Buko pandan halo-halo float. Paano ko po gagawin yon? Lagyan mo ng buko pandan flavoring to. Or pwede mong gawin yun sa'yo ube halo-halo float. Lagyan mo ng ube flavoring to. O di ba? Ganun lang kasimple. So I'm mixing it, look, until it becomes very smooth. If you're putting any flavoring, ngayon mo na ilagay yon dito sa iyong cream filling. So, once it's very smooth like this, oh, ayan, di ba? Ang bilis lang, ha? Real time tayo, hindi inedit to. Ganun lang talaga kabilis. One to two minutes of beating using a hand mixer or pwede mo ding gamitan ng wire whisk. So, now, ang gagawin nating sunod, layering. So, this is now my cream filling. Okay? So now, I'm ready to layer it. You have many options, o ba? Ang buhay, napakaraming options ang binibigay sa atin. Kaya we have to choose wisely. So for this one, you can put it in a aluminum pan like this. Or pwede mong ilagay sa microwavable containers kung ipambebenta mo or ipangririgalo mo. Kung pangkain ninyo sa bahay, you can put it on a Pyrex dish. Or kung anong containers ang gusto mo na presentable, di ba? Like what I've been telling you, I know that you are very creative. So, pagandahin nyo ng bongga to. So, I'm using this. Ano pong size nyan? May ruler ako. Alam kong itatanong nyo yon. This is 10 by 7. 
Okay? So now, let's start the layering. Originally, ang ginagamit ko dito is Graham crackers. But when I saw these crackers, and nung natikman ko, this is Tiger crackers, sabi ko, I'll give it a try. And when I tested the recipe, it was really, really good. So for this one, I'm using the Leche Flan crackers. Bagay na bagay, especially for a Filipino-inspired dessert like this. And of course, natatamisan po kami dun sa Leche Flan Chef. Pwede kang gumamit ng plain. They also have plain, which is less sweet. And they also have the enzymada. O ba? Diba? Pwede mong paglaruan yung flavors. Depende sa iyong type na gawin. It's very crunchy. And ang kagandahan sa kanya, pag nasoak siya dito sa cream filling mo and dito sa iyong fruits, and we're also putting nata de coco, okay? Yung texture niya is nare-retain niya yung kanyang pagiging solid. So when you cut later, you will see, nandun pa din yung layerings. So let's start. First, you're going to put crackers at the bottom of your prepared dish. Eh, lagyan mo lang. Okay. Make sure na pupunuin mo kasi ito yung pinaka magiging uh, mag-aad ng stability dun sa iyong no-bake dessert. So, when you cut it, hindi natutunaw, hindi humuhulas bigla. And then, I'm going to put just a spoonful of my cream layer. Just spread it out. Okay? Just spread it like that. Okay. And then next, you put some fruits. This is mangoes. I'm putting mangoes. Fresh mangoes that I've chopped into chunks. And then, this is nata de coco. Yung peaches, ilalagay ko po yan sa ibabaw. Bakit? Ba't hindi mo ilagay sa loob? Because the peaches, I'm using canned peaches. So, basically, treated po yan. Ibig sabihin, nakalubog po siya sa syrup. So, pag na-expose siya as a decoration, as a garnish, hindi siya basta-basta mangingitim. Hindi katulad ng iyong mangoes na pag na-expose, di ba, nangingitim. So, yung mangga, ilagay mo sa loob, and then yung peaches, ilagay mo sa labas as a garnish. And then, you put more crackers. You layer it with more crackers. And then, cream. Itong cream is, pagka medyo mainit ang panahon, mas malabnaw-labnaw siya ng konti. But you don't have to worry about that. Because, pag nilagay mo sa ref yan, magseset din po yan. Ang recommended is, i-ref mo siya overnight. Huwag mong mamadaliin. No? Or you can freeze it if you want a parang ice cream cake. Mangoes. I'm putting nata. Why? Because I want texture. Di ba para meron kang parang nangunguya-nguya sa loob na ibang texture din. Or if you want, you know what, this dessert, you can also turn it into an easy crema de fruta. Di ba? Ang ilalagay mo lang is fruit cocktail instead of your mangoes and peaches. And then nata. Kung gusto mong colorful, parang Christmas, eh di lagyan mo ng red, green, na nata de coco. Okay? And then, cream filling. Yung finished product ko, when I was testing this, fin freezer ko. And actually, if you plan to freeze it, kung gusto mong i-freeze, pinakamaganda dito sa aluminum container. Kasi yung microwavable, Minsan, pag fin freezer mo, nag-crack-crack siya pag masyadong matagal sa freezer. And then, let's put one final cracker layer. Tatakpan ko na lang nung natitira nating konting cream. Okay. 
the addition kasi of your crackers, eto yung nagpapatanggal din ng umay. Because the cream is very, of course, it's creamy. And rich. Okay. Simutin natin. And you can also do variations. Katulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, you want ube halo-halo. O di, lagyan mo ng ube. Yung iyong cream. You want buko pandan. Lagyan mo ng pandan flavor. Yung iyong cream. Okay. And then, you just put your peaches on top. Diba? So, ito kasi, maski i-freezer mo, i-freeze mo, or i-chill mo yung iyong peaches, walang problema yan. Hindi yan basta-basta magdi-discolor. Unlike when you use your your uh, mangoes. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put this in the fridge for at least 24 hours, or kung talagang nagmamadali ka, i-freezer mo lang ng mga 5 hours and then ready na yan. But again, better to put it inside the fridge overnight so that the layers talagang magdidikit-dikit sila and the crackers will absorb the flavor of your cream layer and the fruits. So I'll put it inside the fridge and then I'll show you next ko anong itsura niya after chilling. So, chill lang kayo dyan. <laughs> So this one has been sitting inside the fridge for mga 8 hours lang. Kasi syempre, di ba, kaninang umaga ko lang ito ginawa. So you can enhance it by putting some crushed pistachios, o di ba, for added texture. Or pwede ka din maglagay ng cherries sa ibabaw. Or simply as it is, maganda na siya as it is, no? So ito, pwede mo na siyang ibenta, ipangregalo, or iserve sa iyong special uh, family, ba? Special friends, special someone, ba? Very easy dessert, pero nakita mo naman, mukhang napaka-special talaga. Now, eto, crossing my fingers, dahil the first slice is always the most difficult to remove. Uh, pero, tignan natin. Mukhang nag-set na naman siya kahit papano, but setting it overnight, talagang mas maganda pag overnight mo siyang Sinet. Oops. Oh, look. Very creamy. Diba? And makikita mo yung, yung layering dun sa loob. Now, let's try. Okay. So, kung makikita mo yung loob, oh. So, you have your cracker, you have your cream, you have your cracker, and then you have your cream again. Mm. It's very creamy, very rich, pero hindi siya nakakaumay. So, ano pang inihintay mo? Gumawa ka na nito or mag ka na ng ingredients mo because it's very easy to prepare and for sure, it will make your dessert table extra special. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you soon.